He was always looking at the world around him and trying to understand how the plants and the animals and the birds all fit together. He was trying to understand how the land system worked. And he wanted us to realize that we are part of the land community. That everything from the smallest insects and plants to geese and deer and rivers and mountains, including ourselves, are all interconnected and dependent on each other. He spoke of the land ethic as a way to love and value the land and ourselves. My father was a remarkable teacher. He seldom told you anything. He waited until you asked a question and then you would get his complete attention. He would then ply you with questions, trying to make you think about what you had asked. And sometimes you wondered why you had ever brought it up in the first place. Taking a walk with my father was sometimes a very quiet experience. He was usually quietly thinking, listening, and looking. It was pleasant and comfortable, and one often felt a warm kind of action or connection. We would walk, then sometimes we would sit on a bench for a little while, speak softly, and sometimes my father would hold my hand, pat my shoulder, just as a kind of a warm connection. It has been written that children must have an opportunity to bond with the natural world, to learn to love it and to feel comfortable in it before being asked to heal its wounds. The aim of the Elder Leopold Nature Center is to provide this bonding experience. The Nature Center presents a hands-on opportunity for children to cultivate a sense of connectedness with the land, where they can touch the earth, celebrate the seasons, where they can run like deer or slither like a snake, where they can lie on a belly board and look into the water and see and touch and feel. This is a place where a sense of wonder is primary.